guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one. It is another three looks, one palette video. And this video is featuring the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. So it is a very beautiful palette. Of course, it is limited edition. Um, I purchased this off of Sephora and this shade right here came completely shattered. I was able to repress it, but it is still very, very fragile. So if you'd like to see the three looks I created using this palette, then please keep on watching. So to start off look number one, I'm taking Tank Girl Liquid Lipstick and I'm popping that in my crease and outer V of my eye. Then I'm taking a duo fiber blending brush. This one is from ColourPop and I'm blending that out so there are no harsh lines. Once I have it blended out, I'm just gonna be setting that with a bit of loose powder. Now going into the 10 year anniversary palette, I'm taking the shade Sylvia on a super beauty fluffy brush and I'm just going over the transition area. Then I'm taking the shade Gina on a slightly smaller fluffy brush. This one is from Rouge and Rogue and I'm popping that in my crease and outer view of my eye. I'm just building up the intensity of that crease, upper crease area. Now I'm taking the shade Lala and I'm taking that on a MAC 217 brush popping that in the outer corner and then into the crease of my eye. To blend that out, I have to take more of Gina just to make sure it's um, nicely blended out. <laughs> I'm so bad at voiceovers, why? Sorry guys. Okay, so then I'm just adding more of Lala into the crease. And then I'm taking Carolyn, which is that really pretty turquoise teal color, on a MAC 237 brush, and I am um, packing that onto the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to be blending with more of Lala. Then I'm taking Kelly, which is kind of like a blue-brown color, and I'm gonna be packing that all over the lid. I did use a slightly wet brush. I kind of just wiped my brush on a, a wet wipe and um, applied it that way, but then I picked it up with my finger. I definitely liked the finger method better. Then I just picked up my blending brush, making sure it's nice and seamless. Now taking satellite lip liner, I'm popping that in my waterline and along my lower lash line. And smudging that out, then I'm taking the shade Chad, which is that blue in the palette, and I am going over top of that, smoking and smudging that out. Then taking the brush I used with Lala and just kind of carrying that down onto the lower lash line. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Egypt, which is that super gold shade in the palette, and popping that in the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm taking Lafar. Oh, you guys always make fun of my pronunciations, I'm sorry. I'm popping that on the inner third of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking the Poe lip liner and I am popping that along my lash line, the top lash line. I feel like I just got so tongue tied there. I am drawing that along my top lash line. And then I'm smudging that out. And then I just took a bit of Carolyn Shadow, it's that um, tur turquoise teal color, and I'm just popping that on on top of that. Then for lashes, these are the House of Lashes Allura Lashes, and this is finished look number one. Alright, so for look number two, I'm taking O'Reilly Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to be popping that on the inner and outer thirds of my lid and along my crease. And then, of course, blending that out with a duo fiber brush. This one actually is a bit different. Uh, a lot of my brushes were dirty, so I had to just pick up whatever I had. Uh, this one happens to be from Zoeva. Um, works just fine. You could even use your finger. Sometimes I do that with my base. 
So yeah, I'm just making sure that's nice and blended and then setting it with a powder. Then from the palette, I'm taking Sylvia on a fluffier blending brush and placing that in the upper crease area. Sorry, that's blurry. And now I'm taking Ashley from the palette on a MAC 217 brush or something similar. And I'm popping that in the inner and outer thirds of my eye and along my crease. Then I'm picking up my fluffier blending brush and making sure that's nice and seamless. Now I'm taking the shade Malice and I'm going to be packing that on the inner and outer thirds of my eye. Once I've done that, I'm going back and blending with more of Ashley. And then blending with more of Gina. Now I'm going to be taking some concealer and cutting out the center of my lid for a halo eye. So this is a brush from the craft store. I really like how tiny it is and the shape of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking my concealer, cutting that crease and pulling that down onto the lid. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Alexandra and placing that right where I popped that concealer. Why do I always say popped? I say popped in like everything. Okay, I'm placing that where I've had the concealer and this is on a wet brush. Then I'm taking Egypt on a bigger flat brush and I am placing that in the center of my eye. This is on another wet brush. I kind of just wet my brush on a, an old wipe like I did previously. And then I picked up more of Alexandra and I'm kind of blending them together. Next I picked up more of Ashley and I'm just blending over the sides so that they are nice and seamless. Now I'm taking Roxy Lip Liner and I'm going to place that in my waterline and along my lower lash line. I could have brought the orange down onto the lower lash line, but I was like, hmm, let's do something different. <laughs> so I did take more of O'Reilly um, liquid lipstick and I'm kind of blending the Roxy and that together. And then I'm taking more of Ashley and bringing that down onto the lower lash line. Then I'm just taking Malice and bringing that down onto the lower lash line as well. And now I'm taking Catherine Squared and I am putting that all over the lower lash line. Then I just took some of Melanie, which is like the creamy beige color in the palette, in the inner corner, and now I'm taking Alexandra again and putting that in the inner corner of my eye to highlight it. Then I'm going to apply the House of Lashes Juliet Lashes, and this is finished look number two. All right, for look number three, I'm taking Double Dare Liquid Lipstick, and I'm going to put that in my crease and then I'm going to be blending that out. You can see the pattern of what I looks here. And once I have it blended out, I will set that with a loose powder. I'm going to be taking Sylvia and popping that in the upper crease area of my eye just to have that transition. Now I'm taking Sarah and I'm going to place that a little bit lower in my crease. Then I'm taking Malice and this is gonna go directly in my crease. I just picked up more of Sarah, which is that gray tone color, because I wanted this um, to be like a reddish, grayish crease, if that makes any sense. So I go back and forth and pick up the colors um, quite a few times just to make sure that um, all the pigment is there. And then I'm going to be cutting my crease in a wing-like shape using the same brush I used previously. And yeah, wing it out.
Then to start off the lid, I'm going to be taking Egypt and packing this on the inner third of my eye, but not like directly. I'm taking it kind of up in a um, triangle-like shape, you see, along the crease there. And then I'm going to be taking Lemmy Lip Liner and I'm drawing this along my lash line, but then like up onto the lid. Then I'm slightly smudging that out. And then I'm taking Le Far again, and I'm going to be packing that on top of that base. But I am going to be taking it all the way up to the crease line. And then I'm taking more of Egypt and I'm gonna go back and forth and kind of make sure that these two colors really blend together. Now I'm taking Kelly and I'm using my finger and packing that on to the outer wing corner area like you see here. I wanted it to kind of like fade out to nothing kind of. Now I'm taking Alexandra and I'm gonna place that right on top of Egypt on the inner corner third area of my eye. I just wanted it to be a little bit more peachy. Now I'm taking Love Lip Liner and that's gonna go in my waterline, but the outer half of my waterline and along my lower lash line. Smudging that out and then I'm taking Catherine Squared and placing that on top. Then I'm taking D minor lip liner and I'm going to put that in the inner half of my waterline and along my lower lash line. Now I'm taking Malice and I'm smudging out the whole lower lash line. Then I'm taking Alexandra once again and I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and the inner half of my lower lash line. For lashes, I'm popping on the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, and this is finished look number three. Alright guys, so that's my three looks created using the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. I do really, really like the palette. It's just a little bit more muted than I'm normally used to. It's not like super bright, but it is still rainbowy, which I like. I've been using it a lot lately. I've been using this shade here and this shade here a lot, like a bunch, <laughs> and I really like it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which look was your favorite down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you wanna see more three looks, one palette videos, and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when my videos go up. All right, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.